Hey boys and girls, here's a cool car, 1969 Buick Special Deluxe Two-Door Coupe. Well, it's a hard top. GS Trim, California package. You don't see these very often. Take a peek. So correctly equipped with its proper badging, GS Functional um, air scoops in the hood and the GS trim on the quarters, GS trim on the trunk. California Special came with a vinyl top, 280 horse, 350 four barrel motor, and uh, check it out vinyl bench seats with column shift. Uh, GS only steering wheel, sport steering wheel. The Grand Sport California came with these chrome reveal moldings on the windows on the trim here. Came with a uh, California package, also came with the wheel opening moldings. Also part of the package, the chrome Super Sport 14 inch wheels. Those are some older steel belted, steel belted radials, but they've got pretty good tread. The body's in really, really nice shape. I gauged it out all the way around, 7.5, 23. So it's had some paint work, 5.5, but not much. It's got a few uh, imperfections and flaws. Little shopping cart ding, boop, right there. And as you get down around the car, little scratch in the paint here. A couple small little chips here couple little marks like that on the other side there's a little scrape down low in the uh, left front fender bumper is in pretty nice shape got some stage one patina happening on top this vehicle is being inspected uh, for a client who's getting a loan through wildfire credit union wildfire will loan money on classic cars if you have them appraised and uh, that's what we're doing today. Door skins are beautiful. Very nice, nice solid car. I didn't break out the Jackson stands today, but I'll climb under here in a second just to show you a peek of what I saw. It's a really super nice Survivor interior. No cracks in the dash. Steering wheel's in beautiful shape. Gauge faces, um, face is nice. Clock's not working. Original Sonomatic AM radio, aftermarket gauges, cool FM converter from the 80s. Courtesy lights are functioning. Nothing's been restored in here. Original loop carpet has a little bit of fade and a little bit of pilling on the entry. These are OEM mats. Those are very nice. One little seam split here. Seats are still pretty comfortable. You can see that they've got just some general wear, but take a check out that headliner. Tis nice. A little bit of warp into the package tray, but the back seat's in good shape as well seat belt equipped doors are in really nice shape the whole car's moving when I lift up on the door uh, pins they close super easy they close easier than that actually okay not that easy what about there a little bit of patina on the door handles the front bumper's got a little bit of age and wear on it a little bit of a ping in the center of it but we're gonna fire it up here and take a peek under the hood in a minute a little bit of pitting on that original grill. Not bad. The bumper's pushed in right here just a little bit. But if you look at it, even this slow, it doesn't really look damaged or messed up. Pop the hood open. Peeking under the hood, uh, the original core support looks really nice. Doesn't look like there's any physical damage that has happened. And the uh, body support bushings are original down there. This is not an original size or style battery, but it's, but it works. There's no reason to believe that little 350 has been out of here. This is not a reproduction air cleaner assembly. That is OEM stock and original and really, really in nice shape. 354 barrel original Rochester carburetor. There, I did not run the numbers on it. It's gonna be hard to get to the engine number because it's pretty greasy and gooky, but the motor mounts don't look to be um, 
ever wrenched on. I pulled these plug wires off because I was looking back in here for the motor number originally, forgetting that that's where a 400 motor number is, not a 350. My bad. So I guess I'll put the plug wires back on because I bet it'll run better if I do that. Firewall's never been restored. Original uh, dual master cylinder, original power steering setup. Just very nice. No damage in here. Original body tag present. 09B, second week in September. Uh, part of that GS California package also was that black vinyl top. So looking underneath, this car is really, really solid. That is a real light, light scale of surface rust. But these floor pans, they're actually, they're gorgeous. You could clean those lightly with a wire brush and some sandpaper and be in really good shape. Very nice, clean, solid underbody. Dual exhaust, that was part of the California package. Turbo Hydromatic 350, also part of the package. I didn't uh, authenticate or verify the numbers on this level of inspection, but it's what it's supposed to be. A little bit of dampness up there could be from a, I don't know, there's nothing on the ground and there's nothing there that would actually leak. GM BOP 10 bolt. Quick peek under the back. Trunk extensions are in really nice shape. You can still see spot welds down along the bottom of the quarter panels. No indication of any body damage back here in the frame rails upon a limited view. Gas tank's in pretty good shape. May have some uh, fuel seeping out of the gas tank. Not positive, but I see a little dampness right there. Dripping down. Nothing else back here would be wet, so that would be what it is. We got a little bit of rust in the tailpipe. performance mufflers uh, let's fire it up well we need keys don't we all right ignition buzzer check lights check heater blower winding with noise check AM radio nobody's there check Oil pressure gauge aftermarket goes up to, let's call it almost 40 pounds. Courtesy lights are functional. Turn signals are functional in here anyway. Clock is not operating, dome light is working. Sounds good, no obvious knocking going on. I don't see any smoking. A little condensation, nothing, nothing bad. Got a few little nicks and war wounds down low. Didn't show you this side too closely. Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise. I'm finishing up a loan appraisal. Wildfire Credit Union, here's a scratch. Um, Loan and money on classic cars. If you need a loan on a classic car, you can give them a call. They'll want you to have it appraised by someone like me or me, and I'm happy to do that. Pretty rare car in production. Again, I think about 35 ish hundred of these made California special package. So, uh, you know, not your usual Buick. Alright, thanks for watching. Have a great day.